What is this heat wave in March, yaar? Why is it so hot? अरे यार कोई एसी चला दो यार। If you've not said these words or heard them, then you probably have seen some of these memes. But why is it so hot? Today on the Climate Change Dictionary, we are talking about heat waves. The month when fans are still on low, plans of cleaning the coolers are still being made, and prickly heat powder in Ruavza Rasna ads are just about beginning to hit your screens. But this year, some parts of the country are already facing heat waves. Basically, a heat wave is a period of unusually hot weather that typically lasts two or more days. To be considered a heat wave, the temperatures have to be outside the historical averages for a given area. And when we say outside the historical averages, it does not mean this. It gets serious. It means temperatures so high that they can kill people, and people are dying, and that number is increasing each year. According to a study done over 20 years, more than 5 million people die each year across the world due to extreme temperatures, and half of these are in Asia. And this should concern us because India has recorded 12 of its 15 warmest years so far in the last decade and a half. Deaths caused by heat waves have always been less than those caused by cold waves, but that is now changing. Why? No drum rolls needed. It's climate change. More than a third of heat-related deaths are caused by the warming of the globe due to anthropogenic activities, basically human-induced climate change. This is not to say that cold waves are not happening. They are getting worse too, and the number of deaths is increasing as well. If you are wondering why do cold waves happen if the globe is warming so much, like this gentleman, I am here to tell you that that's not how it works. Global warming means that both the heat and the cold will get worse. But today, let's stick to heat waves. So, how are heat waves formed? Hot air is not always a heat wave. A heat wave happens when this hot air gets trapped. To understand this, let's quickly revise our fifth standard science lesson. Why are ACs mostly installed on the top of the room? Because hot air is lighter and it goes up, like in a hot air balloon. And cooler air is heavier, so it settles down. This movement creates a current and circulates the air. Sometimes, when the air creates a high-pressure system, this hot air fails to rise up from the ground and gets trapped. This trapped air creates a heat wave, and usually, when it gets hot, the hot air rises up and it rains, and the heat breaks. But when the air can't rise, there is no rain and it gets hot, like really, really hot. In India, as seasons change from winters to summers, March is when it begins to get a little hot. But this is limited only to a few states. This year, the expanse was larger. Geographically, more landmass heated up, trapping this air and causing a heat wave. And then it didn't rain either because of the reasons I just explained. And this lack of pre-monsoon showers further added to the already high temperatures. The frequencies of heat waves have increased across the globe, from sub-Saharan Africa to Antarctica. Emitting greenhouse gases, pollution, deforestation, and all the horrible things that we're doing have led to the rise in temperature of the globe. Global warming has led to these anomalies. Climate change essentially means more and more such events. Climate change gets worse as global heat worsens. Currently, we're at 1.1 degrees Celsius above the pre-industrial levels. This has already led us to where we are now. If the global temperature rises by 1.5 degrees Celsius, 14% of Earth's population will be exposed to severe heat waves at least once every five years. If the global temperature rises by 1.2 degrees Celsius, an extra 1.7 billion people will be exposed to severe heat waves at least once every five years. And if this rises by 3 degrees Celsius, the global average annual chance of having a major heat wave will increase from 5% to 80%. So let's hope that doesn't happen. The countries of the globe have been trying for a long time to limit these temperatures. The current goal is to stop it at 1.5 degrees Celsius. To understand what are we doing to stop this temperature rise, what is India's role in it, and how bright or bleak the future looks, watch our previous videos. So all the gyan is done now, and while it seems too distant, it is already impacting you. Your electricity bill this month will be a not so gentle reminder of the same. It is impacting your fashion, your vacation, and even your choice of prickly heat powder if you're into that kind of thing. 
the climate change dictionary is all about breaking down the global politics of climate change but only fun and none of the jargon so keep watching